revealing this uh, secret to us. So he's the one that is revealing the secret to us. So I was telling us what happened during the administration or uh, during the ad administration of General Muhammad Buhari. So he said is uh, they said he was speaking at a virtual religious summit on Sunday. Sanusi said Psychovant bought the dollar at four hundred naira. That is what I want you to understand. Psychovant bought the dollar at four hundred naira and sold at five hundred and forty. So don't misquote me. This actually happened during the era of uh, General Muhammad Buhari. And what I want you to, I'm not a politician and I'm not interested in, in what is happening in the policy. What I want you to gain from this is that uh, by the time you understand how this dollar arbitrage works, it can it means it can buy you a private jet. It can buy you your dream house. It can fund your dreams. Whatever you want, this thing can give it to you. You can see, I'm just trying to see if I can underline. If I can underline, you can see. You see, 400. Sacrovan bought the dollar at 400 and sold at 540. So why the government money? Why the government borrow money from within and outside the country, up and down? You can see. So that is what we have been clamoring on this channel that uh, there is a way you can buy dollar at a lower rate and sell at a higher rate and this can make you fortunes this can make you millions and this is exactly what the former cbn was revealing to us and i'm going to show you quickly take a look at what actually happened you can see he said they treated the economy the way they wanted and refused to listen to expand in the last eight years only psychophancy succeeded the psychophant bought dollars at 400 naira and sold at 540 he said take a look an inexperienced boy who has no record of service has a private jet and owns houses in dubai and england just because he's buying dollars at a such a rate and selling them at that rate so could you believe what is happening now what is actually happening is that uh, this psychophants and inexperienced boy was able to get the correct information on or at where he can be able to buy dollar at 400, 400 naira and he also got a means of selling it at 540 so giving him a whooping profit of 140 on each dollar he was able to purchase and you can see what has happened because he was able to do that within the eight years of that uh, uh, previous administration. And you can see, he was able to buy himself a private jet. He was able to own houses in Dubai and England. Just because he's buying dollars at such a rate and selling them at another rate. You can see what we are talking about. This is quite marvelous. And this is quite interesting. So, some business that you overlook. Or that you underestimate can fund your life dreams, can help you to buy uh, luxuries, can help you to afford houses in Dubai, in England, in Lekki, in Banana Island, and anywhere. So making money is not about working like a Jackie. So I don't go against working hard, but if you get a genuine information, making money is about information. It's not really about hard work, but if it is hard, if it is only hard work, I don't say you should not work hard, but if it is only hard work, that means the people that are digging boreholes, the people that are digging the, 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 the gutters, the people that are involved in bricklaying, hard work, people that are doing digging, suckaways, I think they are they, they, they're supposed to be the one that will be that will be the richest. But it is people that has the right information that are making the billions. You can see, it's not, is it a small money you will use to buy a private jet?